Today I'm going to make two different types of cheese spreads. Uh, you need a pound of cheese. You can use cheddar, uh, sharp cheddar. You, uh, you can use Colby. It does not matter what kind you have. Uh, but I bought a pound. I also bought sliced pimentos. You could have diced pimentos. I bought the sliced. This is four ounces. They do sell smaller jars. If you buy the smaller jar, just buy the smaller block of cheese. It's no big deal. So you have your cheese and your pimentos and then your mayonnaise. I have light mayonnaise here. This is regular mayonnaise. You can buy Hellman's. This is the one that my mom used to make. Once again, you have a uh, one pound block of mild cheddar cheese. Any kind of cheese will do. You have one red bell pepper. You have some onions, some green onions. And then once again, you're gonna use the mayonnaise of your choice. It could be any brand. So um, I'm gonna get this cheese open and then I'll show you how we shred it. So Kevin's gonna show you here how we grate the cheese. Uh, you just take the whole block out and we have a cheese grater and you just literally stand here and do this. It is, uh, I think, cheaper if you buy it this way, but for me, there is a completely different texture to the cheese when you buy it like this versus when you buy it in a bag. It's, um, I don't know if the slices are thicker. I, I don't know. It's just, it's just a, it's, it's not as hard. I think out of the bag, it feels like it's harder pieces. And, drier. Yeah, drier. Drier, and these feel softer, uh, fresher. And this would be a lot faster in a food processor, too. Yeah, yeah. And we do it just a, gets dirty. A food processor, so we just didn't get it out. So we're going to do this block, grate it, and then we're going to grate uh, the other block, and then I'll show you the rest. So Kevin has the red bell pepper, and he washed it. And what you want to do is you want to take out... Uh, this middle part, the core. the core, the membrane, the middle. And I go pretty close. I mean, it goes almost to the bottom. And then what I usually do is just do snare there and pull it out. And I pull up most of the seeds and you can go like this too. So you see there's still some seeds in there and what you're going to do is take out this middle part. That whole uh, white part, just like you would in a green bell pepper. They have yellow bell peppers. Uh, so you're just gonna you're gonna take out that middle part. He'll take out this part right here, and uh, then he's going to dice these. Do you want to show on that one how you're gonna dice it, and then you can, and then I'll let you do the rest. You want pretty <laughs> small ones for these yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. It's it's just small pieces. This is not my sharpest knife. Just let you know. Okay, so the red bell pepper is diced, and you can see it, it there's a lot there. Yes. And then this is the green onion. So Kevin only took five stalks out, and you cleaned them, right? Um, no, not yet. You haven't cleaned them yet? Okay. No, because I would just have to do it again anyway. Oh, okay. Cut the roots off. And what I usually do, this one's not, well, see how it's got that little extra piece of skin right there? Mm -hmm. I usually peel that one top layer off. Like that. Looks smoother. Yeah. Um, this one's pretty good shape. It doesn't have that on there. So I'm going to leave that one. This one, see how it has um, um, this lumpy like mm -hmm. layer on there? So I usually pull it off. It's like pantyhose. Yeah. It, <laughs> it, it just makes uh, the skin looks, um, looks rough when you, if you don't pull it off. This one's good shape. And this one has a, like a wonky leaf. It's like, it's like wilty. So I usually pull that off. And then what I usually do, usually on the top, these are actually pretty good onions because most of the tips are pretty good shape. They're not all dry, but still at the very, very ends, I will usually just cut off the very, very tips because they're usually dried out and brown and stuff. Like I said, these looked okay, but I probably could have left those. Now I'm going to wash these. All right, rinse them off. So what I do, um, I cut the onion part off of the green part and I'm going to use the green part, but I don't like to chop them at the same time. And I'll, I'll show you why. Um, the onion part is thick. So I usually go down and split it in half. Let me get my other knife. I split it right in two. 
just like that. I mean, some people, if you want big rings, you could, but I like the smaller uh, rings instead of the big fat rings. And for the greens, um, if they're really fat like that one, see how big that is? I'll probably split these in half, but some of the small ones like these, I'll just leave those, the small ones. So, so that's basically how I'm, how I'm going to do it. I'm just going to split these in half, and I'm actually going to probably cut them up the same time I do the onion part, too. So uh, this is my bowl of shredded cheese, a pound, it makes a lot. So I have my sliced pimentos, remember you can have diced. This is like the best gift ever that <laughs> Andrew and Christina gave it to me. I use this daily, many, many times a day. This is from Bath, uh, Bed Bath & Beyond, and it came in a pack with some flat rubber pieces, and this is just the one that's shaped like this. I use it for my Coke Zero bottles, but you can also use them for uh, things like this, and see how easy that was for me? And I mean, I don't have a lot of strength, I don't think, but you pour that in. Water, juice and all. Juice and all, yeah, juice and all. And then you can keep your little jar or throw it away, whatever. I made a mess with my juice. I didn't expect it to splash out like that. Okay, so then you're gonna take your mayonnaise and I use light mayonnaise. And there is no exact measurement for this, unfortunately. Um, I'm gonna put... Oh, really, it's to taste. How dry do you want it? Right, if you want it really dry or if you like uh, to taste the mayonnaise. Um, so then you're just gonna stir it like this. Now some people at this point, um, they, add, they add salt and pepper to it. Um, I do not add salt and pepper to it because I don't eat mine with salt and pepper. But if you like salt and pepper on your sandwiches, then of course you can, you can go ahead and add that. So basically, you can see that you want your cheese to stick together. If your cheese is, is loose off to the side and it doesn't look like it's coated with some mayonnaise, then you wanna add some more. And so to me, this looks pretty good. I don't like it too incredibly wet. See, there was a big glop of mayonnaise in there. So I can stir that in. But to me, that looks really good. I don't, the man, I'm the mayonnaise lover. Yeah, I don't think that's too much. I don't think it's too little. So that's your pimento cheese. Very, very simple. It's, it's still one pound of cheese and you have your red bell pepper you just saw and your green onion. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is put some of the red bell pepper in. I'm gonna put in, that's probably three fourths of that pepper I would say. And then the green onion, I am literally grabbing a handful. Isn't that beautiful? I think that's so pretty. And then you have your mayonnaise. Okay, this is just how we do it. Um, I, I, you're gonna let me make both of them? Why not? Is that what you said? Yep. But the, I, I'm not gonna make this one. You can make that one. All you're doing is you're taking it and spreading it on your sandwich. Now see, you do a knife. Yes. I would have got a spoon. Kevin, I'm a knife person. Kevin's a spoon person. Now, she spreads peanut butter with a knife. I spread peanut butter with a spoon. Which I can find completely weird. It, okay, you all are gonna comment below. We're gonna take a poll. Who spreads peanut butter with a spoon? Or who spreads with a knife? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna take a poll. Because you scoop the, the knife in there and it all falls off. The spoon, I can scoop it. Peanut butter does not fall off the knife. It falls off for me. Is that too much? Is that not enough? No, that's good. So cut it in half. I like it on an angle. It makes a difference in the, in the flavor. It tastes different. It tastes different. And we're gonna have. Your mother. Did she turn the crust off? Or? No, she did not. I wasn't that picky. Yeah, okay, the crusty part. and I wanted to show you I brought some Ritz crackers out because both of these are uh, Smooth enough to where you could have this at a party and you could definitely uh, Spread it on a cracker It'd be easier with a spoon You're still on about the spoon. It's good on a cracker, isn't it? Because you get the saltiness now I didn't add any salt or pepper to either one of these now do you, when I make it do you normally add salt and pepper? 
Can you um, do it just depends. Well, you're trying the, the pepper. Try the plain one first. Well, I just ate pepper. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. You shoved a cracker in my mouth. That is so good. Mm. It's so fresh. You get that little crunch from the pimento, I mean the um, red peppers the and onion, that onion flavor. And the pepper, yes. To me, this is the perfect light sandwich to have during the summer, during the spring, during the summer. This is when I think of pimento cheese, is, is when it's warmer outside. Now, I would have just a little bit more mayo and put some salt on it. But beyond mm -hmm. that, it's really good. I, I, Kevin likes a lot more mayonnaise than I do, but I told him, you know, if you look at the container and you see that it's a little drier than you like, then before you bake up your sandwich, put it on the bread. Just put it on your bread and then put the, the and, more on the And bread. as this sits, it will get drier. Yes, yeah, so you probably will have to like add... Like the next day, it'll be drier than it is now. Right, so add an additional spoon of mayonnaise to it. So that's delicious. It is that's... really good. You can really... The, the peppers and onions, you taste more yes. pepper, onion, than cheese, honestly. Right. Now, this is just the plain. I want to kind of get a piece in the middle. That really, the cheese comes through. Yes, you but can taste the cheese. You can also taste that um, pimentos um, mm -hmm. in there really good too. Mm -hmm. It's not a pickled flavor. I was gonna say it tastes like pickly pimento, but it doesn't have that flavor. It's just a pimento flavor. Right, but you get, you have the juice from the jar, so you're getting that in there too. But really, your cheese flavor comes through. So whatever cheese you choose, that's really what you're gonna taste in that sandwich. And honestly, I would add a little more salt. I would, I would add some salt to that. You would? That. Yeah, see to me, I don't think it needs any at all. But which one do you have a preference? Which one will you eat first? Um, it really depends on what kind of mood you're in, honestly. It does. Um, it the, the regular pimento cheese, has a cheesier flavor. So if you're wanting something cheesy, go with this. Right. If you're wanting something more of an oniony pepper flavor, then you would eat the other one. Mm -hmm. Our, but they're both really good. They're both very, very good. Very easy. Mm -hmm. uh, this would be uh, great to take to, like I said, to any party. You could put some in a bowl and um, with one of those little fancy uh, serving uh, knives and then put the, your Ritz crackers around it and it, it would just be great in a party or just to make sandwiches for the mm -hmm. family. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.